The electron microscope consists of a cylindrical tube about two meters long, which is completely devoid of air. In contrast to the light microscope, the electron microscope visualizes objects using a thin beam of rapidly moving electrons that interfere with the specimen placed in the tube. The electrons are emitted by the cathode at the top of the tube and then accelerated by the anode. They then pass through a small aperture which forms them into a beam and into the vacuum inside the tube. The part of the microscope that generates the electron beam is sometimes called the electron gun. The beam is maintained along the tube by means of electromagnetic lenses. These are coils that surround the tube at given intervals. The electromagnetic field emitted by the coils focuses the beam at the center of the tube. Electrons encounter the specimen and are either absorbed, scattered or passed through it. Because different regions of the specimen are variously transparent to electrons, different amounts of electrons, with changed energy, pass through these regions. At the end of the tube, the electrons are collected on fluorescent or photographic film or on screens that generate an image of the specimen. The beam that reaches the film consists of the different amounts of electrons that pass through particular regions of the specimen. This difference is responsible for the contrast in the film. The original image produced by the electron microscope is always black and white, and it is not possible to see it directly with the eye.